up guys long time no sit down video so welcome to tangled up in books my name is jerry and as you can tell by the title of this video this is my december tbr so um uh, let's just jump right into it so um before i actually get to the books i'm gonna be reading in december right now as i'm filming this it's the last week of november um so i will i'm gonna tell you guys what but i'm currently reading this week and what i'm planning to finish this week so let's first start off with currently reading um nutcracker it's not it's just nutcracker not the nutcracker like i thought it was it's just called nutcracker yeah so um uh, by eta hoffman this is um uh, the pictures are by marie sendak yeah so, as you guys probably know, Disney released a movie called The Nutcracker and the Four Realms. Um, I still haven't seen it yet. One reason being, I haven't found a date to go. Two, I need to read the source material before I watch the actual movie. So, so this is what I'm currently reading. One of the things I'm currently reading. So, there's that. Um, the other, the other book that I'm planning on starting this week and finishing this week is Rule by Ellen Goodlett. So I've been so excited about this book since like June. <laughs> um, so this book came out in September, I believe, and that's when I bought it. But I hadn't gotten a chance to pick it up and the time has finally come. I'm finally... I'm finally going to read Rule. So this book was being pitched as uh, Pretty Little Liars meets Three Dark Crowns, which are two things that I like. Well, Pretty Little Liars, I like the show more than the books. I only read like the one. I only read like the first book of Pretty Little Liars, but I like the TV show. <clears throat> so, and um, another thing was it's been compared to Three Dark, Three Dark Crowns, which I've um, read those books. So. So what I know about this book is that it focuses on three girls. Um, so basically, the king is dying and the crown prince has been murdered. So they need someone to to rule. These three girls end up finding out that they are the illegitimate daughters of the king. So they have to go through like, I guess like trials to see who is going to be the one that is going to take over. Fighting for the crown that is similar to three dead crowns and what has similar to pretty little liars is the fact that all three girls all of these three girls they have lived very different lives and they have done things that um that if they were for if they were to come to light it wouldn't be good and someone finds out about their secrets um their secrets that they've done to get to where they are now so someone finds out their secrets and they start being blackmailed so that's the similarities it has pretty liars i'm really excited about this book this is um the debut novel of ellen goodlett so i'm so excited to finally be getting to this and look guys it has deckled edges Ooh, pretty so yeah that's what i'm planning on reading this week and then for December. I have a few books because I'm behind on my Goodreads reading goal. So I need to um, basically read seven more books be um, by the end of the year to reach my reading goal. So I'll just go to start here. So because December is Christmas, hence my tree. One of the books that I'm planning on reading in December is a Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Um, I'm pretty sure you all know what this is about, you know, three goals, past, present, future, Scrooge, all that jazz. There's so many editions. Um, in middle school, we did the play when I was in fifth grade and we did it um, where it was located in um, a New York subway. Um, so like the set was like a New York train station. So yeah, so I've never read the source material before. So I'm excited to read this. Next, um, 
the next Christmassy uh, read that I had is this book, um, One Day in December by, the sticker is covering the, by Josie Silver. So this book is set in London, right? Yes, it's set in London. So this girl, she's on a bus and I think she like looks out the window and then she sees this guy and he had some sort of like connection. So then... Um, the bus leaves and then she spends like a year trying to find this guy again and then once she finally does she bumps into him at um, a Christmas party and then her best friend introduces him as her boyfriend so um, um, when, once I, I read that I was like oh that's gonna get complicated really quickly and I'm excited to see um, how the story pans out so yeah so that's the next book i'm reading december uh, next i'm not even numbering them i have no idea so the next book i'm planning to read in december is the last book in the to all the boys i love before series which is always and forever love Jean by jenny han yeah i read the first two books i read the first book like in august i think and then the second book i read like in september i don't know something like that <laughs> um so I got the third book and I'm excited to finish this trilogy. So yeah. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what To All The Boys I Love Before is about. If you don't know, quick little synopsis. Laura Jean, um, she writes letters to the boys she loved before. And then one day her letters get sent out. And um, the story is about, you know, the repercussions of her letters, her love letters being sent out. Short synopsis. But yeah, I'm excited to finally finish the trilogy. It's really cute and fluffy. Like, don't judge me. Next. The next book I'm planning on reading, I want it to be, I want the month to be more contemporary based. Um, so like, I mean, A Christmas Carol isn't really contemporary, but whatever. But the, the other two books are contemporary. So I, um, I was looking through my books and I'm like, what other contemporary books do I have and that I haven't read? <laughs> and there was only one. So um, I think it's time that I finally read this book because she's one of my favorite authors. And this book is actually written <clears throat> um, in her other pen name. So the book is The Wedding Girl by um, Sophie Kinsella, but she was writing under name, the name of Madeline Wickham. So, um, what I know about this book is that this girl, I don't know her name, Millie, she, um, I think she married, like, one of her friends, so he could stay in the country or something. Hold on, let me look it up. Wait, hold on. Yeah, okay, so she married one of her college friends for some reason or another, um, but it wasn't, like, a serious marriage. But then now, like years later, she's actually getting married to someone and um, I think she has to deal with the fact that, you know, she is kind of already married. <laughs> um, this is the, on the only like Sophie Kinsella book that I own that I haven't read yet. So I need to finally read this and I think it's a good time to do it because I'm kind of in a contemporary mood, which is doesn't happen often. Then the last book that I'm hoping to get to in December slash 2018 is Two Dark Rains by Kendar Blake. Um, this is the third book in the Three Dark Crowns series. I have no idea how many books it's going to be because it was originally supposed to be a duology and then, you know, that's not happening anymore. Um, yeah, just a series, Three Dark Crowns series. I have no idea how many books they're going to be. Anyways, um, so Three Dark Crowns, if you don't know... It is about these three queens, Arsenal, the, the naturalist, Mirabella, the, the elemental, and Katerine, the poisoner. So in this world, like every century, like, um, I don't know, century or something, um, a set of triplet queens are born and um, they reach to be 16. They basically have to fight to the death to see who's going to um, get the crown. Short synopsis. But yeah, this is the third book in the series. I just finished reading Queens of Fenberg by Kendar Blake, which has two short stories. 
um, one called the Young Queens and the other called the Oracle Queens. So the Young Queens, it takes, it's about when they were little. It starts when they were born onto when um, they're a couple years old and then um, living in the black cottage and then it follows them a couple years when they are being raised in their respective um, houses <laughs> um, with the people who, you know, possess their same abilities. And then the Oracle Queen is a story about the last Oracle Queen that um, they had. So not to give too much away, I feel like her story, the Oracle Queen story, is really important because like in the world of Three Dark Crowns, they are told the story of the Oracle Queen and what happened to her and why they don't have any more Oracle Queens. But that, that may or may not be the truth of what actually happened. So I feel like her story is very important and I think it was a good idea for me to read Queens of Fenberg before moving on to Two Dark Reigns because I feel like may maybe the Oracle Queen ha some she will pop up in this book, I feel like. So I feel like it's a good thing I read this before reading Two Dark Reigns. But anyways, that those are all the books that I'm either currently reading this last week of November or, and all the books I'm planning on reading in December. Hopefully I get to all of them. Fingers crossed because I want to meet my Goodreads reading challenge for this year, which is 30 books. Right now I'm at 23. And I just realized there's a car alarm going off. I This happens so often, like noises, that I kind of like block things out. So I just realized that's happening. So I'm sorry for the car alarm. But anyways, this is the end of this video and i hope you enjoyed and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books or you're planning on reading any of them also what books you're planning on reading in december and if any of them are holiday themed because um i need some more um holiday themed books that could read like i don't know maybe not probably not this year but 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 maybe next year um so like always, all of our social media links will be linked down below in the description box. So you can check those out. That car alarm finally stopped. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to become a member of our little family here in 10 different books. And you can, you know, watch more of our videos. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't um, press a little button for the little bell that notifies you when we post when new video is posted Please press that button so you can know when we post here on Tangled Up in Books But yeah, I'll leave you guys here. I'll catch you guys here next time in Tangled Up in Books